Hey everybody, Blush, meaningless here. Today we're going to talk about this, we're going to talk about that, we're going to talk about all sorts of things. Let's get into the video. Thank you, uh, Mini Flash Me. Let's get into the video, as he said. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've posted on this channel, and I got a, I got a mic here, so... Um, I don't have to talk close to the camera. It will hopefully improve the audio. Hope, like, at least I will become more clear in my videos. That's what I hope for. And also, I don't think I've addressed this. I made a video, but I didn't upload it because it was kind of trash. Oh, I got a new phone. A Pixel now. Pixel 8. I uh, I just went in to upgrade my SIM card on my last phone, and essentially they just gave me a new free phone with a better phone deal, and it's pretty great. It's pretty great. I'm fe I'm feeling pretty lucky. I'm feeling pretty blessed with how things are. This is my New Year's uh, reflection on 2023, the year that we just had. Uh, well, I'm uploading this in 2023, so. Is it really a year that we, you know, just stick with me here. Stick with me here, okay? Ah, yeah, okay. This year, how did this year go? I spent January suffering from antidepressant withdrawal symptoms, but over the summertime, I was able to get out a whole lot more because... Over the winter time, my friend Big D, you might know him on the channel, he invited me to this Christian group at the university, and that really expanded my social my social circle. I've made a lot of friends I keep in contact with, and it's it was my real it was really my gateway into having a active social life that I did not have before. So, Big D, you're probably watching this. Thank you for doing that. Opening up my door into this whole social network. It really helped my recovery. Because I, I tried going to school. I dropped out. And uh, it was that Christian group that really just picked me up. And help guide me, you see. And I started smoking weed over the, the springtime, and that helped me feel more things again. I got into the dating scene again, which was very tough for me to do. And uh, pronounce the most early, like, pronounce all the, the early girls I've dated online didn't last more than like a few weeks, but that's okay. It was just gaining experience, building up my energy, exercising. I, and then it was over the summer, I went back to work, uh, still sm smoking weed, and uh, I got into skateboarding for uh, like two weeks until I broke my wrist. And over that time, I fell in love with this beautiful girl that lived uh, on the southern part of the the island, and I I I live in like the middle part of Vancouver Island, and uh, it was it was a great experience. It was tough because. Uh, for the first two weeks of us dating, it, I I woke up with reoccurring gut pain that I uh, I did not tell her, and uh, and then it subsided, and uh, we were doing really great until her horse died, and she fell ill with COVID, and uh, she just she just kind of crumbled and uh, left me behind and so I just uh, deleted her from my contacts and uh, 
never looked uh, back since. I still think of her time to time because uh, I I was just in love with her. With uh, we dated from from June to July, and then at the start of August uh, we broke things off and that was hard and then it was a few weeks after that I fell ill from uh, from severe gut pain and I am almost thinking that the stress of the relationship might have triggered the the gut pain and um, it was just too much because even though we never saw each other in person, it was very emotional and it, there was a lot of sexting involved. And uh, so we, we just we grew really close to each other and it was, it was really devastating when things got broken off. But it was over that time I, I started to just learn a lot more things about myself start to feel a lot more things and I was vulnerable which was a huge step just being courageous and opening my heart up again to, to people because I closed it off in like 2018 2017 and I just had crushes and stuff like that but I there was always a huge wall up with me and uh, so since the, the summertime I've just been tearing down that wall that I've built up around myself when it comes to love and being okay to be vulnerable with, with people and I, I just I think that's so important and so at the end of August I uh, fell deathly ill with severe gut pain and that lasted from September, November, uh, October and then it was November that I started to really come out of my shell again and uh, open myself up to the world of uh, going back to the social groups and uh, and activities and friends that I uh, missed out on and uh, this month December has been really good with that getting back into weed <clears throat> uh, and really just going out a lot like a lot with uh, with friends and activities signing up for them becoming a full member of the Rotary Club this month. Uh, that was that was exciting. Being uh, inducted into Rotary International Volunteering Club. Woo woo, let's go. Looking forward to, uh, to what that'll bring in the new year and getting more involved with Toastmasters. Uh, the public speaking workshop, that's been fun. I They were so happy to see me back. Pretty much all, all the groups, they were, they were so pleased to, to see me come back. And I, I absolutely love all of them. It was definitely when I broke my wrist uh, during the summertime, uh, June, June, uh, in June. See, I, I broke, my, my wrist was broken from the start of June to the end of July two months it was broken and it was over that time I I really looked into these social groups and activities and clubs that I wanted to do and I got in, into dancing and so I'm part of these dance clubs on uh, Facebook and I'm planning to go back into dancing again because I, I just 
realized how much I, I love dancing. I always loved dancing, but I, I fell in love with it again in a whole new way. And in the new year, I am looking forward to becoming more of a dancer and perhaps being on stage because that's one of my goals is to uh, to be a performer on stage. And if I can do that with dancing, an art that I find quite liberating, expressing myself through the body actions, that, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that uh, that time, it, that time that I broke my wrist, like gave me the opportunity to connect with the the girl I was dating quite a bit because I didn't I couldn't really do too much with broken wrists. I couldn't do the water sports. I couldn't work. I couldn't do uh, certain activities. Uh, I couldn't really get sweaty and work out too much because I couldn't get the cast wet. <clears throat> And it definitely, it, being stuck at home definitely wasn't that great. I, I did go out with friends and go for walks and stuff like that, but it, it definitely, the mind worked way too much. And um, that's something I've, I've definitely been honing in this year is mastery of the mind, mind over matter. People tell you mind over matter all the time. But once you truly understand the implications of this phrase, it is crazy just how much you start to realize how much your mind controls matter in your in your body and out, outside your body, influencing other people. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And so I, I beg of you to just look into bettering yourselves bit by bit. I, uh, I've, I've gone to counseling. Okay, so my mom just came in to the B side to uh, to do some laundry. It's the perks of. Uh, of living with your parents is the interruption that you sometimes get. But you know what? They haven't walked in on me doing anything uh, nasty. So there's that. Just walked in on me making videos. And um, it's it's weird. I don't like re recording myself uh, when they can hear me because it's it's just weird. It's just weird talking about all the stuff that's going on and I, I don't know I should be more comfortable with it I'm just I'm just not but anyways I was talking about going to therapy this year I've gone to therapy twice this year once during when my uh, my wrist my father asking me if I want to go for a walk with well, sorry, I'm kind of busy doing this. I know I might catch up with them later. They, they're they just going for a walk from home, so I can always just run up and, hey, can I take along? But I'm doing this. They didn't plan on doing that. I didn't plan on doing this at this time. It's just inconveniently lining up. Um, but I went to counseling twice this year. Uh, one uh, first time was uh, during the, the springtime, and that was to address my YouTube addiction that was plaguing me. Well, actually, okay, no, I've actually been to counseling three times. Uh, one time over the springtime, it was $80 a session, uh, and then at the end of spring, uh, start of summer, I went to counseling again for YouTube addiction and just mental health things. And going there, it was quite noticeable. Like the first time, I was so just, 
stolen. I was so just closed off. Uh, oh, oh, I was just like that, just hunched over and I was feeling like crap because I'd spent most of my time watching what you're watching right now, YouTube. It, it's been a real issue, a real thorn in my side. And but every single week, I was doing better and better. And then by the end of it, I was just glowing. I was radiant. I was charismatic. I was, uh, I was doing like the best I was ever doing. And it's like, this guy's not the same guy that walked in here uh, several months ago. And the beauty of going to counseling there was that I was free. And now I'm paying $100 right now for a counseling session for art therapy. It's kind of ludicrous, but um, you live and learn. I This counseling cannot be, uh, uh, it's not under uh, my, the insurance I need to sign up for. Anyways, I'll be discontinuing, discontinuing this one soon enough, but this counseling I went to uh, because I just didn't, I feel I felt like I was stuck. See, coming out of this gut illness, I just didn't feel like I had much direction, much motivation, and I just needed some extra help. That's what I go to counseling for. I, like whenever I'm stuck in life, I just go to go to counseling to to you know try to sort out my issues. It's working past. It continues to work. And this counselor has, like, they've gotten me into eat, eating healthy again and being more mindful of what I eat because that was something I've been passionate about for such a long time and they are quite knowledgeable in it and I've just neglected how I treat myself with food. And so it's been a great help going to this counselor. And, uh, yeah, that's... Like this year in a nutshell, but there are some no notable other events that happened. I know, not scripted whatsoever, it's just run of the mill, run of the mind. We reached a hundred over a hundred subscribers this year. That's amazing. It's not like nothing. It's not it's not anything that uh you can really write home about. Like Oh my god, I reached 100 subscribers. Yeah, well, on average, people that really commit to YouTube get thousands of subscribers. But for what I'm doing, that's fantastic. That's amazing. This uh, low quality effort, just vlogging channel. Like, and I'm not even like vlogging while I'm out and about. Like, I find doing that stuff actually a bit embarrassing. Um, and that YouTube shorts I did where I was vlogging on the highway, <laughs> that, that took me using cannabis to not give a shit. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm quite happy. Thank you everyone for uh, tuning into this channel this year. It's been wild. I, I've gotten some of my staunchest supporters on this channel this year it's amazing it's amazing and um i find the a lot of times when i put put effort into a video it doesn't do that well there was some videos the video about this is what loneliness looks like that was one of my most high effort videos and it did pretty well for my channel at the time got like 50 views uh and I've, I've i've done other higher quality like the four souls edited videos they did surprisingly poorly uh but when when i uh it's it's really you gotta find the topics that people want to click on and it's the videos about dating like the the online what Online dating video did pretty well, and uh, of course the two most recent ones, 
about going on a date that went really well those went really well um, it's just funny looking back at uh, what works and what doesn't work on on the channel and uh, this channel has been a part of me i it will continue to be a part of me it's it's just it's just a hobby really and um yeah i don't know it's it's been great and those those have been like some of the most notable things that have happened this year just a personal just journey of getting healthy getting sick falling in love falling out of love and uh, yeah the one thing i've i've definitely been noticing with online dating that it's emotionally taxing where it's just talking to somebody forming a connection with somebody and then they just ghost you out of nowhere it is exhausting for example there's this one girl that i was talking to not too long ago it was going really well like we we bonded on so many levels and then just five days ago we're supposed to have a call and texted her with normal like pleasantries and then like telling her whenever you're ready uh give me a call and she never did she never texted back she never called nothing and that has me dumbfounded because she was the one that was putting in an effort like obviously i did too but she seemed quite interested in putting in effort and then nothing and that that stuff is way too commonplace and it's just i'm realizing how just emotionally draining it is just doing that constantly but i don't know i am this is just the game i'm playing this is just the game i'm playing and it's something i want it's something i'm ready for i have the mindset for it i am i have the activities on my resume to show look the sky is promising he has potential we'll see we'll see what happens with any of this stuff but that's pretty much what is on my mind right now and i hope you are all doing well merry christmas to you i love you all uh that's kind of weird that i said that um and i hope you're living your best life like I, this is i hope that if you're making a new year's resolution just start it right now and just don't be too hard on yourself when let, let's say you're trying to exercise right if you skip a day or two you skip a week don't rush into anything too fast is my unwarranted advice and when you make a mistake just pick yourself back up because what matters is perseverance right you fail that's okay forgive yourself be kind to yourself really really treat yourself like your best friend really because best friends lift each other up so lift yourself up be your best friend be your best partner be your best lover and uh that's pretty much it you'll see me in the, in the next video goodbye everybody